Welcome to the enchanting world of Pollyanna, a timeless 1960 film that has left an indelible mark on audiences for decades. This heartwarming classic, directed by David Swift, unfolds in a small town where a young orphan Pollyanna, played by Haley Mills, brings an infectious optimism that transforms the lives of those around her. As you reminisce about this cinematic gem, you might find yourself pondering, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Each character contributes to the narrative, adding layers of depth to the story and resonating with viewers in unique ways. It's a testament to the film's enduring appeal that such a question can spark a flood of cherished memories. Perhaps Pollyanna has played a role in your own life, inspiring a positive outlook or influencing your perspective on adversity. As you navigate the maze of your memories, you might ask yourself, can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Whether it's the unwavering optimism of Pollyanna or the lessons learned by the characters, this film has a remarkable ability to transcend the screen and touch the hearts of its audience. Now, let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about the film. Did you know that Pollyanna was based on the best-selling novel by Eleanor H. Porter? The screenplay, skillfully adapted by David Swift, captures the essence of the source material, bringing to life the charming tale of optimism in the face of adversity. Before we wrap up, we're curious to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic treasure. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We would love to connect with fellow admirers of Pollyanna. And there you have Eat a Glimpse into the Enduring Magic of Pollyanna, a film that continues to warm hearts and inspire positivity. So, out of curiosity, what's your favorite memory or insight connected to this beloved classic? In the 1960 film, townsfolk scenes in Harrington were largely populated by Santa Rosa, California citizens dressed in period costumes. The dramatic climax showcases the entire Harrington population gathering at the big house to bid farewell to the central character, Pollyanna, at the train station. Director David Swift revealed in commentary that locals embraced the opportunity to be part of crowd scenes, adding authenticity to the film's setting. One notable technical glitch surfaced during the movie's restoration process decades later. When color separation masters were initially crafted, an oversight led to the use of two blue filters and a red one instead of the standard blue, green, and red filters. This error went unnoticed until the restoration phase, resulting in a distorted color palette on the new positives. The issue was rectified through digital correction before the release of the DVD set, accompanied by a featurette explaining the mix-up and the corrective measures taken. Haley Mills, the lead actress, continued her success beyond Pollyanna, becoming a prominent Hollywood star. She later headlined the sitcom Good Morning, Miss Bliss in 1987, portraying a teacher. The show eventually evolved into Saved by the Bell in 1989. In summary, the film not only captures the charm of Harrington's townsfolk, played by enthusiastic locals in period attire, but also faced a color mishap that was corrected during a later restoration. Additionally, Haley Mills' career soared post-Pollyanna, culminating in her lead role in the sitcom and its spin-off becoming a noteworthy Hollywood figure. In the quest to find the right lead for the 1960 film, Pollyanna, director David Swift faced a daunting task. After scrutinizing 362 girls for the role, none seemed to fit the bill. It wasn't until a chance encounter in London that fate intervened. Producer Walt Disney's wife, Lily, alongside Disney studio head Bill Anderson's wife, spotted Haley Mills in Tiger Bay and deemed her perfect for Pollyanna. Despite initial skepticism, the man relented, watched the movie, and promptly cast Haley, setting the stage for the film's success. In the aftermath of Pollyanna, Haley Mills formed a bond with co-star Kevin Corcoran. Amidst their camaraderie, Kevin shared cautionary tales of child stars like Jackie Coogan and Shirley Temple, whose parents had squandered their earnings. He enlightened Haley about the California child actor's bill designed to protect young actors' finances. However, despite these safeguards, Haley faced a financial setback, losing a substantial portion of her teen earnings due to taxation intricacies between America and England. While the on-screen world of Pollyanna may seem confined to the past, a tangible link to the film endures. The Orphanage House, a prominent setting in the movie, still stands on the Warner Brothers' backlot. Interestingly, it neighbors the house featured in Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, offering a peculiar juxtaposition of cinematic history. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the casting process, financial challenges, and lasting film locations contribute to the multifaceted legacy of Pollyanna, a movie that transcends its time.
Haley Mills, chosen for the lead role in the film, faced an early challenge during her first film scene. Directed by her father, Sir John Mills, she struggled to concentrate while filming Reverend Paul Ford's sermon in an open field. A candid remark from her father about being like a great big white cabbage spurred her to improve, resulting in a successful afternoon shoot. Despite the initial hiccup, Mills' performance in subsequent scenes contributed to the film's success. Notably, Kevin Corcoran, in addition to playing Jimmy Bean, provided narration for a storybook recording associated with the movie. The record, featuring drop songs Pollyanna and The Glad Game, came packed inside the back cover of a storybook, offering fans an immersive experience. Interestingly, Patty Duke, a renowned actress, auditioned for the role of Pollyanna, highlighting the competitive casting process for the film. While Mills ultimately secured the lead, Duke's audition adds an intriguing layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the production. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into the challenges and creative decisions that shaped the 1960 movie. From overcoming initial filming hurdles to unique audiovisual offerings, each detail contributes to the multifaceted legacy of this cinematic gem. The opening scene of the movie features a daring river jump by a young boy named William Betts, setting a unique tone for the film. Interestingly, this small Vermont town portrayed in the movie is a composite of various California locales, showcasing the movie's behind-the-scenes geographical blend. William Betts, at seven years old during filming, reminisced about the restricted river, White Sulphur Springs, where the scene unfolded. His non-actor mother even had a brief role in the train station scene, the seemingly quaint Vermont setting. It's actually a patchwork of Napa Valley and Sonoma County in California. The geographical intricacies of Pollyanna offer a fascinating backdrop to the narrative. Moreover, the locomotive with the iconic number 94, a notable presence in the film, now stands preserved at the Western Railway Museum in Northern California. This tangible artifact connects present-day audiences with the bygone era of Pollyanna. The locomotive, once a crucial element in the film's train station scenes, serves as a testament to the enduring legacy of the movie. As viewers today explore the museum, they encounter a piece of cinematic history, bridging the gap between the real and the real. In a different vein, Haley Mills, the lead actress, experienced a unique journey post-Pollyanna. Notably, she received a special juvenile Oscar for her outstanding performance, marking the end of an era as the last recipient of this particular honor. Haley, unaware of the accolade and the 1961 ceremony, found out about her Oscar win when it arrived at her doorstep. This unexpected recognition solidifies her role in cinematic history and adds a layer of intrigue to the film's legacy. The fact that Annette Funicello accepted the award on her behalf, underlining the commitment to education by Sir John Mills, Haley's father, further enriches the narrative. These elements ranging from geographical quirks to the preservation of a cinematic prop and the unique Oscar story illuminate different facets of the 1960 movie, creating a mosaic of anecdotes that contribute to its enduring appeal. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of Pollyanna, let's take a moment to reflect on the timeless threads that weave through our own narratives. This 1960 cinematic masterpiece isn't just a movie, it's a journey through the corridors of optimism and the tapestries of human connection. Perhaps like the characters on the screen, you've discovered a reservoir of positivity within, prompted by the silver screen's magical brushstrokes. As the curtains fall and the credits roll, I invite you to share your cherished memories and musings inspired by Pollyanna. Whether it's the warmth of Aunt Polly's lessons or the quaint charm of the small town, let your thoughts flow like a gentle melody. Our individual stories, much like the film, have the power to inspire, uplift, and resonate across the ages. In a world often draped in complexities, Pollyanna offers a simple reminder of the beauty found in embracing the bright side of life. So, dear friend, what echoes of positivity did this cinematic gem awaken within you? Share your reflections, your favorite scenes, or the lessons that lingered in your heart. Let the dialogue continue beyond the credits, creating a tapestry of shared experiences. Thank you for joining this cinematic journey through the lens of Pollyanna. Your time and thoughts are treasures that enrich the tapestry of our shared human experience. Until our paths cross again, may your days be filled with the warmth and optimism that this classic tale has bestowed upon us. Crafted with warmth and words, this outro was.